Hello, good day everyone. I'm Neri James. I'm a maths teacher from Keninga Vocational College, Sabah, Malaysia. I'm going to present a project that I developed along with my teammates and I refer to it as a Shongami, where we intend to weave Japanese culture into our school education. This is still at a proposal stage and we are planning to carry out this project in June. So here we go. What is Shongami? Shongami is an abbrevi abbreviation of Sosuke, Menga, and Origami. Sosuke also known as a book. We would like to combine craft, visuals, and note-taking skills inspired by several aspects of Japanese culture particularly origami and menga. This will be a training program for teachers and students who will learn to create crafts using origami, draw in menga style, and use them as a note-taking strategy. Our objectives are to introduce a group of pre-selected teachers and students to Japanese culture, trend in origami and manga, and finally guide them to use this in note-taking through a specific note-taking style inspired by a Japanese scholar. Japanese culture is a dynamic blend of ancient cultures as well as modern innovation of pop culture. Japan is a nation that has become so progressive in many fields, economy, science and technology, and the society lifestyles, so much so that the impact of Japanese culture on our world is massive. So what is manga? Manga is a style of Japanese comic books and graphics novel with unique illustration. Manga can be a great educational material since it contains a great diversity of topics and themes. It is often based on the correct information. It has both visual and words that can be read and understood easily. Minga can help to strengthen language skills. Since it's embedded with authentic dialogue and slangs, it has verbal and visual contents, and it gives readers a more convenient experience in reading it as they can pause between panels, and learners of different cultures can connect better. So what is origami? Origami is the art of paper folding that originated from Japan. It can be used to teach many subjects and skills, including fraction, geometry, science, and some skills, soft skills such as thinking skills and problem solving. So our goal is to incorporate manga and origami into note taking, which is an essential skill for students. The more students record, the more they remember, and the better they perform academically, specifically in exam. There are many ways of taking notes, and sometimes teacher or lecturer, lecturers prepare guided notes which contain outline where students are expected to complete during lecture. There is a note-taking strategy known as origami note-taking, which was inspired from a, from a popular strategy, Connell Method. It's developed by a Japanese scholar known as Fujigami. It is divided into three parts, keyword, notes, and review. The strategy basically requires the student to, lie, to draw lines on the paper, like in this picture, and then label the section accordingly. This is an example of how the separate sections are filled in with information that will help students to recall and comprehend it better. You can fold the paper along the vertical lines when you want to test your memory and understanding of the notes. There is another aspect of note taking, specifically known as visual note taking or sketch noting, 
which combine both text and visuals. There are four steps of how sketchnoting is done. And the final step requires students to visualize the information. In fact, one of the fundamental elements of sketchnoting is the use of illustrations to portray the notes better. And it can be drawn as a mini comic that depicts a sequence of events. We understand technology has progressed rapidly and digital notes and devices are more popular now. However, conventional note taking still remains relevant as a great way for students to remember and understand what they experience during a lecture or a class. Hence, this project aims to tap into manga and origami in order to devise a note taking strategy that can improve student learning and probably teacher pedagogical method. This is the end of my presentation. Thank you for listening. <laughs>